Welcome to Sweet Red Poppy. I'm Kim and today we are going to be talking all about dollar store Cricut hacks. I share a new crafting, sewing, or Cricut video every single week on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss out on all the fun. Now, I know that crafting with your Cricut can get pretty expensive, so I have put together 12 of my favorite Dollar Tree Cricut hacks to help you save a little bit of money. If you like writing with your Cricut, you probably found out pretty fast how expensive Cricut's pens and markers are. While they are super high quality and they write beautifully, sometimes you just need something to get the job done. The Dollar Tree sells these pens that fit into the Cricut pen holder without any adjustments. You can also use almost any pen with your Cricut. Just pop open the pen holder, grab a pack of grips, cut it on one side, slide it around your marker, and insert it into the clamp and get writing. If your vinyl rolls are out of control, try this really simple hack. Grab a few wire dish drying racks. And you're going to roll up your rolls, make sure that they're a little bit wider than these spaces, insert them in, then tie a piece of string around the top. And then you can hang it on the wall. Whether you've damaged or even lost your Cricut mat's protective cover, you can use this Dollar Tree shower liner to keep your mat safe and protected. And you don't even have to buy a new mat. Simply cut open your package, cut out the needed dimensions, 12 by 12, and you're ready to go. If you're weeding an intricate design and you don't have a light box, you can use baby powder to see the lines of your project. Just sprinkle a little bit of baby powder over your project to easily see your cut lines. Create your own vinyl collector with this dressing silicone squeeze bottle. Turn it upside down and use an X-Acto knife to cut a few slits in the bottom of the bottle. Place your excess vinyl in the bottle as you weed to easily collect it. I always have a lint roller or two in my craft room. You can use these to pick up little pieces of cardstock or vinyl off of your mat and even to clean your shirts before you're using iron-on vinyl or infusible ink. These command hooks are perfect for hanging Cricut mats on the wall, and they cost a fraction of the price. This hack has saved me so much time and money, not having to replace or even clean my pink fabric grip mat. When cutting fabric, put this contact paper on the back of your fabric and then onto your mat to protect your mat from collecting strings and fuzzies as you cut. Plus, you can even use this contact paper as transfer tape for your vinyl projects. If you're like me, you use your Cricut Easy Press Mini to iron all of your small sewing projects. While I really love the consistent heat of this Easy Press, I really miss the steam from my iron. So I picked up this spray bottle from the dollar store to add a little bit of steam when I'm using my Easy Press. Just spray your project and press. This hack is one of my favorite dollar store finds. These mini scrapers are sold in a four pack, making them only 25 cents each. The blade at the end of the scraper reverses, giving you a two for one. You can use the dull side as a scraper for your vinyl projects 
and the other side can be used as a cutting tool to cut away excess vinyl from your project. To flip the blade over, push out the little tab. The other side of the blade is really sharp, so be careful. Easily clean a dirty Cricut mat with an alcohol-free baby wipe. You're just going to wipe in a circular motion to remove any of the built-up residue. Use this acrylic makeup organizer as a Cricut tool organizer. It makes your tools easily accessible and you can see exactly what you have. I use it to store tools, blades, and pens. Now that we've covered my favorite Cricut hacks that actually work, I wanna point out two Cricut hacks that don't work so you don't waste your time or your money on them. I can't tell you how many times I've seen cutting through tin foil recommended as a way to sharpen your blade. It doesn't work, so don't even waste your time on this hack. While it might clean off your blade, cutting through tin foil won't actually sharpen your Cricut blade or your scissors. Another popular hack that I see frequently is cleaning your mats with LA's Totally Awesome Clean Spray. While this worked really well on the previous Cricut mats with the floral design on them, Cricut's new mats are designed with a different type of adhesive and this spray will actually break them down. So go ahead and skip the spray and opt for cleaning them in a warm soapy water bath or with a baby wipe. I hope you enjoyed all of these Dollar Tree Cricut hacks. Tell me in the comments below which hack was your very favorite. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Sweet Red Poppy for more sewing, crafting, and Cricut videos.